wonderful crowd. Look at this. This is amazing. You know, we're just here to uh, print the flyers. We got the permit. We got the sound system. But this event is really about all of you guys. All of the scientists that are here today with the AGU, all of the folks from communities around the Bay Area standing together to say that we will not stand for attacks on science, that we will stand up in the face of intimidation. In the wake of the election over the last many weeks, there have been many scientist-led efforts from petitions to open letters, and this rally builds on that momentum. We have an open letter to the Trump administration uh, and the incoming Congress, calling on them to stand up for science and maintain science-based policies to protect federal scientists. Uh, it's been signed by about 3,000 scientists, Nobel laureates to scientists across the country, every state in the union. If you're a scientist, we call on you to join us to sign that statement. Because the bottom line is, we don't want to be here. None of us want to be here. We want to be in our labs, we want to be in the field, we want to be with our students, we want to be doing the work that we were trained and educated and raised to do, which is science. It's the work of understanding the natural world, understanding how this beautiful, amazing, and complicated world works, and using that information to make the world a better place for all of us, to make it safe, and to protect the natural environment that God or creation or the universe gave us. That's what we want to do, but we are at a moment in time, a moment in history, where we have to do something else as well, and that's stand up and be counted. We have for too long as scientists rested on the assumption that by providing indisputable facts and great data that we are providing enough of an attack against to counter the forces against science. And obviously that strategy has failed miserably. What we need right now is all of the scientists who care so deeply about their work, about facts and data and truth, to shake off the fear that holds them back from engaging in this space. Not thinking about it as a political problem, but thinking about it in defense of science. It's absolutely fantastic you're here, but it's just the first step. As someone just said, don't get depressed, don't get upset, Get organized. Yeah. Get to work. We have work to do. I know you're here because you understand just how essential science and evidence is uh, to our democracy. Science and evidence unfettered by political or corporate interference. Science and evidence that has for decades served as the bedrock for the development of public policies from the Clean Air Act to the Clean Water Act to the Endangered Species Act and we can go on and on to the Paris Agreement on climate change that are designed to protect public health and the environment. And science and evidence that I know you all get is at risk of being deeply interfered with in the context of this incoming administration. We see the appointment, the nomination of Rex Tillerson, the CEO of ExxonMobil, to the Secretary of State, a man who has led a company that has for decades disinformed on climate science uh, in order to avoid regulation. And we see the president-elect himself, President-elect Trump, just on Sunday um, say that nobody knows if climate change is real. We're out here to stand behind the truth. We're not denying the truth. The science is real. Climate change is real. Just ask any of the communities who are on the front lines Climate change is real. It's human induced. Yeah. We can't go back. If, if we destroy our life support systems here, and we have the only generation so far yet to be existing in humanity that has the responsibility to stand up and say, no, we will give a, a sustainable a, a, a life and earth that can carry on for future generations to the next generations. If we fail in doing that, how selfish will we be? The scientists have said, in order to avert climate chaos, we have to keep at least 80% of fossil fuels in the ground. This has been a very humbling year for climate scientists. We have watched the temperatures soar to new heights. 
it's been a very tough year for me personally, uh, having scuba dived on the reef in the far reaches of the tropical Pacific and watching 85% of that reef uh, die between one of my trips and the next over six months. Uh, a humbling and, and gravely disturbing experience to go through. Now more than ever, it is critical that scientists step forward and make their, voice, their voices heard, not just for the sake of scientific research, but for the sake of the entire planet. The politicization of science is nothing new. As long as there's been science, there's been politicization. And the Congress, the Republican-controlled con Congress under Newt Gingrich, told the CDC, either you stop doing research on gun death and injury, or you will have your entire injury prevention budget eliminated. And guess what they did? They quit researching guns. And to this date, today, there is no national database on gun death and injury because of the politicization of science. And we know that that's what's going to be happening with this new administration. And that's what I want all of you to think about. And so I want you to all shout it one time. Resistance. Ready? Resistance! We need scientists in federal agencies and across the country to keep doing their work and to let them know we have their backs. So I invite you to join with us, join with any organization that's standing up for science. Find ways in your own communities, uh, in your own states, across the country to ensure that science and evidence is not dismissed, disparaged, or ignored uh, in the next four, hopefully only four years. Thank you very much. So I say, whatever is holding you back if you're a scientist, what are you waiting for? What is the nightmare scenario that will get you out of your hotel rooms, out of Moscone South, out of those nice lunch chairs with your buddies? What will have to happen, folks? It's time. It's past time. Please join us. Please let's let our voices speak together. If we do speak together, I'm confident we can change the course of history. Thank you. We all have lines we draw that once crossed, we cannot stay silent any longer. I'm not a politician. I'm not a public speaker. I'm not even a high school graduate yet. <laughs> but I am a human being whose moral line has been drawn and breached. And through this, I have been called to action. I joined the Alliance for Climate Education as a fellow in August, and here I am today, speaking out in front of a crowd for the very first time, nervous but ever determined to push for climate justice. It is our responsibility to defend scientific integrity. It is our responsibility to hold our government accountable in prioritizing climate justice above corporate interest. And it is our responsibility to never let our lines be crossed without a fight. This isn't something that you can hold off until tomorrow or do the night before. This is an issue of now. Climatetruth.org put this together today, together with the Natural History Museum, to show that when we act collectively, we are strong. And so visit us online, climatetruth.org, where you can sign up. If you like what you heard today, you can participate in the future. If you didn't like what you heard today, give us a call, uh, and, and we'll, work, we'll work it out. Uh, thank you to all of the scientists that participated, all of our speakers today, all of you that came here. Uh, take what you feel now back into that building with you. Tell your friends, bring them out into the street, and uh, let's make some changes. This is by saying this isn't just about climate science. It's about the fate of evidence-based policies. That's right. It's about solidarity for communities that are hit hardest by climate impacts and fossil fuels. And it's about taking a moral stand against the war on science. So I thought maybe we could close with a couple of chants. Stand up for science! Stand up for science! Out of the labs and into the streets! Out of the labs and into the streets!